In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My Lord and my God, I firmly believe that you are here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I beg your pardon for my sins and the grace to spend this time of prayer fruitfully. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, Intercede for me. We are here for a special meditation of the feast day that uh, we are celebrating today, the feast of the archangels, Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael. Well, in preparation maybe for a bigger feast that is uh, coming, which is two days from now, on Friday, which is the 2nd of October, 1928, when uh, Santa Maria finally founded Obus Day, after well a long uh, prayer, asking that beautiful um, aspiration that we can do, we can imitate when praying before the Lord, especially now in the pandemic, where we are at a loss, wherein uh, we start asking the Lord, no Lord, what do you want? No, what is uh, happening to us? We are 
in this pandemic can you not do something while well, uh, Saint Jose Maria then uh, simple priest uh, ordained in 1925 March 28 was praying the same aspiration and when he was still a seminarian Domine Odidiam, Lord, that I may see. So it's beautiful, right, to tell our Lord, Lord, that I may see everything, everything that you, you know, happens in our surroundings, happened to me, I know it's your will. So Jose Maria did the will of God doing of his day when he saw it this day, October 2. Well, but uh, before that, uh, this uh, feast day of the Archangels, we know we are referring to the uh, uh, creation of the angels. All the angels, Archangels in a higher category, but they are all angels that have been created by God, pure spirit, and uh, those that uh, rebelled of uh, the God's uh, command they became the devil, the bad angels we refer to. And from then on, they are good angels, they are bad angels, and uh, so good our Lord, mm, who is in front of us and uh, telling us when uh, a creature uh, is created, anyone from then until now, he has gifted us with and guardian angel so we we know that very well no we were told before or we t tell people that you have one guardian angel and that has been assigned by god to you to me i have mine you have yours mm, <laughs> they do not shift uh, from you to me or when will go to another one if he doesn't like you no there are pure angels assigned to us from birth until uh, we die. We don't change him. It's all the same. We, isn't it uh, really to thank the Lord, no? knowing that we have a very special uh, calling, a special mission, and a special uh, gift promise us if we win the battle that is going on, well, there right away a pure spirit beside you the guardian angel will take care of you will guide you will protect you will uh, give you what uh, you need you just have to tell him i have to tell my guardian angel uh, whatever help i need at the moment or things that are coming up we can call on our guardian angel to take care of us the bad angels we know uh, they are in existence. They are very active. They are uh, going around because uh, they want also to pull uh, people out of their way. You know, they want to mess up their lives. So what do they do? Well, just like uh, our first parents, the serpent uh, fooled our Adam and Eve to eat. Uh, that uh, forbidden apple and because of that uh, devil tempting it look good no you see try uh, take a take a bite and which they did there they were they knew very well <laughs> and they were thrown out and so we have our guardian angel and there are those uh, devil uh, going around as we have said so today is the, the their feast day you know all, all the angels and just to talk of my guardian angel and yours maybe we don't know uh, him very well because we don't deal with him we don't see our guardian angel maybe we have forgotten that there is a bodyguard a security you don't have to hire he said i am just beside you tell me and i execute <laughs> that simple how nice how good if we know such gift that our lord has given all creatures to make sure that we are able to uh, get back 
No, we lost because of original sin, thrown out here. But God has a plan, and He did it already. He wants everybody to be able to go back to where they started, where we belong to paradise. And uh, the big, the guardian angel will do uh, a lot of uh, help if we deal. Hmm? That's why we ask our guardian angel to listen to us and to take care of us. And this archangel, we see that uh, Michael is the prince of the angels. And we have a very nice uh, prayer directed to him because, well, he, he won over that the devil and uh, from then on we call on saint michael to uh, come and uh, be our aid so the the prayer that uh, i hear uh, in front of me uh, we recite it every day you know saint michael the archangel defend us in battle what battle well the battle that is ongoing and it doesn't stop until we die, the battle goes on. You and me against the devil, against myself, against uh, the world that uh, we live in. The battle uh, has to be won. And the guardian angel and Saint Michael will uh, hope to help us if we go to him. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. Hmm? There is such wickedness. Snares. You know, uh, you don't know where the devil will come in. He will just uh, surprise us. I'm here. I'm ready to, to, to bite. Well, uh, Saint Michael, take care of this defense. May God rebuke him. We humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, Referring to St. Michael, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan. Send him back to his territory. That's where he is. He wants to bring all of us there also. So there is a pull. Huh? We are in the middle. We are pulled by the devil. We are tempted. And our guardian angel and also uh, the, the prince of the angels, St. Michael, will uh, do his best to save us to help us, to defend us. And all the evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. That is their purpose. Creating trouble. <laughs> creating trouble. So, we have to be ready and prepared. And Lord, no, this is uh, our situation. Uh, we are not guaranteed that we will win. But if we want to win, then be ready for the battle. Have your weapon ready. Uh, so that when the devil comes comes to tempt us, there is a sort of weapon to hit uh, the target, you know, to kill that devil. That's the fight that we have. And Saint Michael is there. Well, the archangel, uh, the archangel Gabriel, we are very familiar. Lord, it's uh, the archangel who appeared to Mama Mary. No, the first time and Mary was uh, contemplating and also preparing for the Messiah to come and it was then the time and appeared to Mary and so well uh, behold uh, you have been uh, chosen by uh, God to be the mother and uh, the same way before Mary even the family of Zachary and Le Elizabeth uh, Elizabeth being old and Gabriel said, well, you will have a son even in your old age. And there came John the Baptist. That family and then the family of Jesus with Mary saying, Fiat, be it done to me according to your word. As you said, I accept. And then there you are, that Fiat stay until our Lord died and until our Lord was uh, taken up to heaven, assumption. And so, our Lord has been born in the Holy Family and has ra been raised up 
for many years, 30 years of hidden life in uh, the care of uh, a family, Mama Mary and Joseph, before he went into the public life. And three years, uh, he was out and Joseph uh, was gone, no, never mentioned of his, uh, of his name anymore. And because uh, Jesus was busy in his public life, but that's the Holy Family. And with the Saint, uh, the Saint, uh, the last Raphael, and then in the Old Testament, uh, Raphael just came in with the, the family of Tobias, uh, had to make uh, trouble, and he was all alone, no companion. And here comes someone he did not recognize. Who was that? Saint Raphael on his own. He wanted to accompany Tobias na, to make it the, a safe trip. He arrived uh, and Tobias met the future uh, bride. You know, they got married and also when going back, Tobias cured the, the uh, Raphael, Saint Raphael, Archangel healed the sickness of Tobias' father. That was the story of Raphael, a good companion, a friend who accompanied him and back. And that's what we have today, these three archangels. What is that related to St. Jose Maria? That it's, they are our patrons. Patrons means Saint uh, Michael, pray for us. Saint uh, Gabriel, pray for us. Saint Raphael, pray for us. Every day in our prayer, we call on them. Why? Because they are patrons. There are six, but there are the, those three uh, mentioned ahead to say, yes, they are. Why? Well, because she entrusted to Saint Michael the uh, celebrate members of Opus Dei, you know, whom our Lord called. You know, called to Opus Dei. And uh, upon seeing their vocation, they said, well, I want to give everything to God, you know, my service, through Jose Maria, through Opus Dei. And they uh, continued as a celebrate with their profession, doctors, engineers, architects, teachers, uh, an employee, workers, anyone that have committed themselves to serve the Lord mm, as a celebrate member, then St. Michael, Archangel Michael had been entrusted. Take care of this group. Huh? They are uh, determined, you no, know, from now until the end of their lives, they will serve you through uh, their profession, you no, know, working for God. It's very nice. The archangel they have uh, work to do uh, for us, by including priests who, who were uh, uh, who are celibate, and then eventually because of the needs. Uh, for priests, then uh, I was chosen to study philosophy, theology. I'm ready to say, okay, from my uh, lay, lay uh, stature, or I am ready. Uh, I'm ready to become a priest. So those are what happened no, to, to the lay uh, celibate members. A few, very few, that uh, are needed for the pastoral, pastoral work. We are all under St. Michael. St. Michael, pray for us. Define us in battle. No, uh, do not uh, leave us because, you know, the battle is uh, very much. And uh, with St. Gabriel, he has been entrusted uh, that work to take care of the general uh, the many other members who are uh, in their profession but married with their families like Gabriel 
chosen Mary to be the mother, and there is a holy family or family of John the Baptist, Zachary, and Elizabeth, and many other families who are committed to do Opus Dei, but in their married state with the, their wives or their husband and then their children to take care of, busy with their work, maybe uh, the mother at home to take care of their children, uh, the husband go out every day because, well, he has worked there as a supervisor, manager, and he comes back to take care of his family. And all of this through the spirit that uh, we learn from uh, our Saint Jose Maria, sanctify yourself wherever you are. Wow, that's also what uh, everybody had seen when uh, we do pray. Uh, praying first for the uh, possible calling. Are you calling me for uh, Saint Michael, a celibate uh, person, or you're calling me to have a family and? Uh, then we have a family, but also a member, no? And uh, then the last one, uh, the Archangel as a patron, we have Saint Raphael. And Raphael, who we said that he was the companion and the friend of Tobias while he was going. And uh, so who are in this uh, group, uh, this patron? What? will uh, Saint Raphael uh, take care of? Ah, these are the young people. Maybe they're still studying in high school. Maybe, Lord, no, they're still in college. No? Not very clear yet uh, what path to take. Even like uh, what course to take. Uh, well, will I take this? I don't know. Let me try uh, this one. No? Uh, a, B, uh, uh, philosophy or, or any other course that they they want to take. So these young uh, boys or students who are very who are also busy with the, their studies, they have Saint Raphael to take care of them. How? Well, to accompany them while they are studying year after year until they discover uh, what they want to be and what path, if ever, our Lord will call them. So it's after all God's calling. It's not what I like, no, and I just join Obus Day. But if God uh, has uh, calling for me, for you, and I always beg the Lord, if possible, if everybody, as many as possible, because it's just the, the universal calling to holiness of St. Jose Maria. It's not very specific. It's a universal. Everybody, Lord, can uh, do this uh, sanctification of work, of family, of anything here on earth, including, St. Jose Maria would say, including your sleep, if you need seven to eight hours of sleep, that you sanctify your sleep. You sanctify huh, your going out in an excursion with your family. You sanctify huh, your rest day or your sports day. Wow, that's what the Lord told St. Jose Maria to tell everybody. While uh, Jose Maria had precisely uh, chose this the archangel to have a, uh, an, an, an angel to take care of different activities, different demands, especially the young. Raphael, Saint Raphael, guide these young people that they don't get lost along the way or they mix up with uh, so many things or the the, how what he will emphasize the friendship, not only uh, to Saint Raphael, but well among the friends. Uh, are you have do you do we have many friends? Well, we accompany them and uh, see how they are, how they are uh, walking the path uh, to their to their future or uh, their path 
uh, in loving God, being called to uh, the, that universal uh, call to holiness. Well, who will lead them? St. Raphael is there to back up, but it would be you, me, any one of us who have a lot of friends, and it will be through me that that friend will get to know, will be guided. And so we have to have that friendship. Friendship and confidence of that uh, person. So, well, yes, uh, he, uh, he uh, talks to me, he uh, calls me up, and uh, yeah, he will uh, tell me uh, good things, uh, what to do. And that's St. Raphael's uh, task to Tobias. Well, with the three archangels uh, being uh, celebrated, and we ask uh, the Lord not to uh, help all members or non-members or cooperators or even friends no, that are, they, you know, they appreciate St. Maria uh, teaching of uh, telling them, no, come and uh, join uh, some activities so that then you get to see that uh, it's uh, telling you to be holier, no, or holy first, holy, yeah, instead of holier, no, from what you are, uh, to be holy in what you do. That's very nice, and uh, by October 2, which is the foundation, we will go specific to what that is, no, exciting, uh, what, uh, what St. Samaria saw, no, many years ago, almost 90, uh, 92 years ago. By 2028, it's already a centenary, 100 years of the beginning of Opus Dei. Well, uh, yes, we, we are preparing for that and we are letting many more people to get to know. Lord, thank you very much that Santo Samari has appointed these three archangels for us to uh, to call on, you know, to have some support, uh, including the angels that we have mentioned. I have my guardian angel, aside from these archangels. You know, so call, call on your angel. I, I always forget also, but they have their names. I address them. Hello, on my right is Billy Jr. And uh, to call uh, on that... Uh, guardian angel of mine on my left. Why do you have two, Father? Because I am ordained as a priest and I was told uh, I would be given extra guardian angel. Why? Everybody has one, you have two. Well, I suppose because uh, our load would be heavier, the devil will be more active you know, to see how to attack uh, a priest because, you know, one priest will will do harm to many, many souls. While one soul, anyone, if not a priest, then it's easier, just one. Yes, I thank very much no, for uh, that knowledge, no, or that uh, additional guardian angel. And so I call, I call the one on my left is uh, Billy Senior. Junior, Senior, both Billy, no, instead of Willie Billy. Wow, so nice. Well, that is our dealings. If we can manage to do it every day, every now and then, the best. Saint Rosa Maria would be very happy. They have been made patrons of uh, the work of Saint of Opus Dei. Well, we go back uh, to tell the Lord, thank you for this special meditation that will be posted in uh, the page of Saint Rosa Maria Escriba. Finding God in every place, mm. an added feature that, you know, uh, make us uh, pray for uh, the feast day. We ask our Mother Mary always. Mm. And, uh, well, October is coming and it's month of the Holy Rosary, month of Our Lady. Well, yes, we go to her uh, for her care and protection. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, inspirations that you have communicated to me in this meditation. 
I beg your help in performing them. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Guardian Angel, intercede for me.